Good morning. Folks, first say hello to Mars creeping in on the C3 coronagraph. It's really Earth's orbit speeding faster, bringing it into view. We've got a potential triple solar impact scenario setting up over the coming days. We had a large quake strike a red alert zone. We look at Juno and climate records, but we begin over at spaceweathernews.com. Let's find the last 24 hours on our star. Little other than surface ripples and surges in the northern reach just shy of the polar circle. There were absolutely no solar flares as the sunspot number is functionally zero. Meanwhile, the solar wind at Earth is intensifying this morning with a rise in density did take down the electron flux like someone cut off his engines, and that means that this is the coronal hole stream we've expected for almost 36 hours. Now its tardiness indicates weakness, but as the KP begins to rise, it also sets up a potential consecutive impact scenario as we've got a CME impact expected at our planet within about 24 to 36 hours, and that one won't be long gone before the next coronal hole streams get here, north, south, and dead center in trans-equatorial position. Impact this morning, CME tomorrow, and a second coronal hole stream likely by Monday. Eyes open. You'll want both geomagnetic alerts and observers alerts turned on in the notification settings of the Disaster Prediction app. Folks, a magnitude 6 event struck Ecuador yesterday. Luckily, a little bit of depth and position offshore removed the scariest risks from locals. And yes, as about 300 of you realized within the first hour, it struck almost right on the red alert line itself, with the affected area being sliced in half by the alert line. Indeed, it was a direct hit, but folks, this is not going to count for the model statistics because it was too small. Remember, we need at least 6.1 and the USGS significance designation. Nation. Learn more about the model and how to predict earthquakes yourself over at quakewatch.net. If dozens of middle schoolers can do it, so can you. Anyway, what we can't do is walk out to Jupiter. We leave that to satellites like Juno. It's tracking towards one of the most important passes in just 10 days, the close pass over the Great Red Spot. Article link below has some good information and further links to the animation pages from Caltech and JPL. Folks, two temperature stories of note include the highest recorded temperature ever in western Iran, soaring temperatures to 128 degrees Fahrenheit, while down under they are shivering, record cold being broken in the south. Folks, in today's link list you have a site which shows all weather records broken over various time scales, even down to the hour. Be sure you check that out. Folks, it is July 1st, and that means we are half a month away from giving away free room upgrades to the VIP and speakers floors for a few lucky folks who have pre-registered for the conference. Really hope to see you all out in the desert. And website members, hope to see you today for the weekly Fly on the Wall podcast. It is going to be a good show today. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you